Hello Linux folks. Today we are going to see how to verify checksum of a file you downloaded off the internet. We'll see both GUI and the terminal way. Here we go. What exactly is a checksum? Checksum is a number which is used to verify that the file you downloaded from a source is not corrupted in any way. So let's see how to do that. First we will see the GUI tool. So if you open the software center you can install gtk hash you should find it in your linux distributions software repository software center and it's a very popular tool for gtk based desktop environments like gnome unity so we are going to verify the checksum of linux mint i have already downloaded linux mint 19 so i'm not going to download it again i'll just show you how to verify the checksum so let's go to the all versions here and linux mint 19 and if i go here it will give me a link to verify the iso so again it will show all the available versions for me it's linux mint 19 so the checksum it depends from file to file for each iso there'll be a different checksum so in my case it's linux mint 19 64-bit version of cinnamon and if you can see this is the SHA-256 because this SHA-256 is a hashing algorithm there are MD5, SHA-256, SHA-1 and more so the source provides you with the kind of hashing algorithm the information about that so in this case Linux Mint tells that the checksum is in SHA-256 format some Linux distribution or some other distributors they could actually provide all three or more than one checksum algorithm so what I'm going to do here I just use that checksum file which should be the same as the checksum encoded in this ISO file so if we have the same here you can see the SHA-256 matches with the one Linux Mint tells you to have. So in this case, my Linux Mint ISO is not corrupted. It's in good state. This is a good way to verify, especially the Linux ISOs. So if you download a corrupted ISO, you may face a problem while installation of the distribution. Now that you have seen the GUI way, let's see how to use the command line way. So there is a command line tool called SHA-256-SUM and if you just give the ISO here, the path to the ISO file, it will get the SHA-256 checksum and this is the number. And if you verify this number with the, the checksum number Linux Mint expect you to have, you should see it is the same. If it's not the same, it's an issue and uh, you should try to download the, uh, the ISO file again. There are other command line tools for each kind of hashing algorithm. So if you have, if you're checking MD5, you can use MD5 sum and similarly you can use sha1 sum sha512 sum and you'll get the checksum number and you can verify it with the checksum number the source provides if you like this video give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more linux videos see you next time bye bye